Hello stamping friends, welcome back. This is card number two video. And again, I wanna start off with a few tips. If you don't have a Stampin' Scrub by Stampin' Up, it's a gray, very large, great for that big background stamp that we're using, um, and the Stampin' Mist, you really need to get some. As much stamping as we're doing in these classes, um, to be able to spritz the wet side, and then take your stamp, wash and dry, and then peel it off and put it away is just, oh, it's just priceless. It really does help you with all the stamping you're doing. Speaking of stamps, can you tell that mine is very loved as yours may be by now? And that's okay. It doesn't hurt the stamp to be stained a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and put this away. And these are the stamps that we're using for this project. This again is the flower patch with the matching framelits that you got in your um, class last month. The other stamps that we're using is the hardwood background and the fabulous four. Okay, so the next card that we're doing, <clears throat> excuse me, is this one. And I wanna show you a little trick on that if you would. I have already cut out using the framelits, my pieces. And these are the oval framelits. This is another way to store your framelits if you want to use um, some magnetic strips and put them in, then that way when you're looking at it, you can see that you're missing some ovals, which I have them right here. Okay, so they're not really missing, but it's just a great storage system. Um, Stampin' Up! sells the clear mount cases like this. Otherwise, you would use the container that they come in when you get them and they are on nice sticky tape that tape is really strong isn't it and so that will also keep your framelits organized for you all right so i've already punched or cut out with the oval the blackberry bliss and i've added two dimensionals i've put the dimensionals here because i want my ribbon to run underneath and i don't want the dimensionals to stick on the ribbon so i have my oval whisper white cut out and I've already stamped thanks on it and I wanted to share with you on this video how to stamp your images softer so I'm going to stamp first here and then here and here so see there's the shading there stamp first here and there and maybe right there Okay, and then I'm going to take my little flower. Whoops, I didn't press down on that. And I have the wrong ink. Ha, huh, don't you just hate that? Oh, let me switch. There we go. We're using this flower. Okay, stamp off, then stamp. So I get a softer color, if you would, so that my thanks stands out more. So guess what I need to use since I inked up with the wrong flower? I need to use my cleaning pad real quick. There we go. See how handy that thing is. All right, so now I'm going to use the Hello Honey and just stamp some flowers softly. But that stamping off allows you to really have like three different shades to your stamp pads. Pretty cool, huh? All right, so now I'm going to use some snail. Look at that. See, don't you just love it when I, when I do what I tell you? Our cardstock has two sides, so if you mess up on one side, don't throw it away. Flip it over, stamp on the other side. All right, so I'm gonna layer that there. I've already cut out, or have my cardstock ready, scored, and I have stamped on there um, like I showed you in video one. I'm going to take the Hello Honey ribbon. Now in this case, since I'm on the video, I always like to leave my ribbon on the bolt. When you get your kits from me, um, they will already be cut because obviously I can't send you the whole roll. That would be fun though, wouldn't it? All right, so I'm just going to take, and the reason that I like to leave it on is so that I have less waste. Go ahead and tie this. Scooch that up a little bit. Tie that there, 
there we go. Then I'm gonna take my scissors, which I don't, I call these ribbon scissors. Stampin' Up doesn't call them ribbon scissors, but they really do cut your ribbon very nicely. Okay, so I'm gonna slide that over a little bit. Take my oval, remove my backing, and whether you have nails or not, like I don't, just dig in there and that backing will come off. Now, on the video, do you ever wonder, what does she do with all those? Okay, so I have a little coffee can, you know, the, the kind that you would throw away, and I just made a cute little label, and that's where I'm throwing all of my, all of my scraps. Okay, how easy is this card? There you go, my friends. Stay tuned for the next video, video number three.